Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to SageLine 50. In this podcast we are going to go through the basics of a bank reconciliation. We have received our bank statement. We've got a summary bank statement here for Kelsey Garden Centre. I've simplified it so that we're just showing payments, receipts, standing orders, charges, interest and the balance going forward. Right, the first thing I do is I look at it and I see that there is a standing order, there are charges and there are interest. What I want to know is how much of this is already going to be on a bank statement on in the bank account on Sage. So I'm going to go to the bank current account, there we are, and I'm going to look at the reports and I'm going to look for reconciled and unreconciled transactions. Here we are. I'm going to preview this. Wait for it to come up. I'll just take all transactions for the moment. And here we are. Here's my report. I can now close this little one from behind. Bring the report to the front. And what I can see is that I've got payments there. I've got receipts there. All of these are non-reconciled. What I don't have are the interest charges and the standing order. So what I've got to do first of all is enter the standing order. So I need to close that and the standing order was for a software subscription so I'm going to keep in the current account and I'm going to make a payment and this is for £200 and it's from the bank there and it's for a software subscription which I think I'm going to find somewhere in the expense accounts let's see where we are here we are software subscriptions so I accept that and the details are that it is a standing order that I am entering and it's £200, it would have included VAT, so I'll ask it to calculate the net there we are and I'm going to save that transaction and close that and now the only other things I've got on there are the charges of £40 and the interest which is of £10 so I'm now ready to reconcile. So here we are. I open up my reconciliation screen, my first one. It's on the ribbon right for the bank accounts. The first statement comes up. Statement summary. What's my ending balance? That's my statement date. How much interest have we earned? We've earned £10 interest. fine and if it's interest it should come under an income Let's see where we get to just classify that as miscellaneous income and the bank charges which are £40 will be an expense so we're going to look for it's a duty pays to look these up before you start because we're now kind of searching 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 here bank charges okay there we are so I've got a statement a statement reference the ending balance and the statement date and the ending balance that I'm looking for is 22428 which is shown on my statement 
now I'm almost ready there we are we bring this up to a screen that we can see and now I'm going to look for these my first one is a purchase payment for 180 which is that one I can match that against that so I'm going to match To show that I matched it. I'm going to do that, and I have a purchase payment for 750, which I can't match. I now have a purchase payment for 356, which I can't match. Purchase payment for 180, I can match that one. Here we are. Now purchase payment for 540. I can match that. We normally tick these with a pencil or something, but we're just filling in the screen this way to make it easier. Now the purchase payment of 432. So what we've got effectively are three payments here, which are checks that we've sent out but haven't been presented. Now if I look at the receipts, we'll try and do this a little more quickly. We have a receipt for 900, which I can match. One for 7, 6, 1768, I can match. 670, I can match. 720, I can match. So I match, 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 and match. And the 200 pounds standing order, which we just entered, we can also match that. So we can now go back to that. We've matched all those, we've matched those, and we've matched these because we entered these. So we've dealt with everything on our bank statement, except for these three checks which obviously haven't been presented. So what I've now got then is a report that's just annoying, which I'm going to send to Excel. Actually, I can look at the report here. Which it doesn't seem to want to generate in a hurry. progress. Right, so here's my bank reconciliation. So it's a standard form. I add my unpresented payments. There are no outstanding receipts. I've got to a difference of zero, so I've got a reconciled bank account. Just bring that up to its full screen so it's easier to see and I'm going to export that as a PDF file I'm just going to do it to the desktop to make it easier and so I've saved a copy of my bank reconciliation ok so those are the stages that you would go through to produce a bank reconciliation in SAGE